Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, I will show you some of my work demo, not the coding demo. Uh, how how did I do the online offline sync with two different installations with my single web server? So for the sake of the demo, I keep all of my uh, installations uh, local so that you can see what's happening so this is a WPF application you can see over here and it is a HTTP client service and you can see I have pointed to my local host here so where is the local host it is running over here you can see that uh, this is the point it is, it is already running and I have implemented a method it will take the list from the client so the WPF app I have implemented such a way that we don't need to install like the other uh, softwares it is a standalone software like if I build it it produces a debug folder so the, the the developers understands it more clearly but if you don't understand just think like think like portable VLC or portable software which can be copied and pasted anywhere you like so you don't need to press next 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 something like that so it is easily portable and duplicable I kept it in that way so you can see that there is a two folder debug and debug two and I have opened two different instance for the sake of the demo so that you can see how my uh, uh, inst uh, instance one gets synced and then my instance two gets synced also I have opened the SQL server uh, these there are maybe eight rows and uh, there are brands products products so I will show you one by one just check that uh, in the suppliers there is only one row which have the address value and the brands uh, the R3 is 333 and R4 is 444 okay so let's let's start the syncing currently uh, last time I have synced so for example I am changing the R4 now R5 R5 address is triple five press save just check it is not synced with the online I will do it but for the sake of the demo I didn't do it automatically and for example in this uh, instance 2 I'm just changing the R6 with okay so the sign of devil triple six okay so this instance have is its own database my right side instance has its own database both database is local and tightly coupled with to this installation or this instance none of these are synced with my local inter, uh, internet or my SQL server database I mean with the web API or the server database unless and until I just click the say sync so let's click the sync over here and uh, just check triple uh, five and I don't have any triple five over here it's the last is four 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 and pressing sync and my web server get called and I have set and debug point over here and you can see my edited data cam triple five so I'm just releasing it it is synced don't worry it is not the production level software it's just debug software and just showing it for the demo Come on. okay sorry for that uh, okay so this is number one and let's open number two let's go to the home press sync and you can see the triple six should appear yeah the triple six appeared mm, okay press okay and you can see triple uh, five triple six both are here because I have synced now if I press sync again 
uh, not again uh, since I have uploaded the left side data to the SQL server triple four triple five triple six but after this left hand side sync I didn't sync the right hand side so in my local database it is not updated so if I press the sync it is updated and you should see triple six so this is how my uh, online offline syncing is happening uh, I, I will just uh, deploy it to my uh, Azure server and uh, pre create a standalone installation file so that the, the, as many as users can use this and uh, if you question me uh, what technology I have used I have used WPF and I have used XAML and SQLite to the local database uh, I will use this uh, almost a lot of codes to my xamarin.forms project so that I can just copy and paste most of the codes to my uh, uh, Android application and my iPhone application and the UWP applications as well. So uh, and my server will be a single standalone web API server which will be connected from a, a lot of devices, lot of clients, lot of different clients. Uh, in recent uh, in the future plan i will have uh, a typescript based uh, client side application uh, which will have index db or some other local db i have not uh, started implementation of that project yet so i will keep it keep you updated if you're interested feel free to knock me in in any of my uh, linkedin or my facebook page or facebook uh, groups as well I'll be delighted to discuss with you about the architecture. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.